There are three ways to capture screen contents as screenshots with Snap. Let's take a closer look. First, I select the scan function through the magic eye. I can also rely on keyboard shortcuts, but I'll talk about that in a later video. You'll find a list of supported shortcuts in the program manual. Snap detects user interface elements below the mouse pointer, like program windows, and highlights them automatically. If no elements are detected, the entire screen is highlighted instead. Individual areas inside a program window are also detected and highlighted. The easiest way to select an entire window is by hovering the mouse pointer over its title bar and then clicking the highlighted area to select it. To capture the selected area, I left-click either the selection or the camera icon. By default, newly created screenshots open in Snap's image editor automatically. There, I can edit, annotate, save and share them with others. I'll come back to that in another video. Snap also makes it fast and easy to capture the entire screen. Once again, I first select the scan function through the magic eye and then move the mouse pointer over a free portion of my desktop to highlight it. I then left-click the highlighted area to select it. Finally, I either left-click the selection or the camera icon to capture the selected region and open it in the image editor. I can also create custom selections in no time. Once again, I hit the scan button, but this time I left-click and drag to create my own selection rectangle. As always, I can modify the selection through the edge markers afterwards. Also note the magnification view that helps with pixel precise adjustments. Finally, I click the camera icon to capture the region and open the new shot in the editor. That's it for today's brief introduction to A Shampoo Snap 14. Make sure to check out our future videos where we'll dive a little deeper into this powerful screenshot tool. Thanks for watching and see you next time.